Hi, in this short video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to treat transitional cell carcinoma in dogs. Uh, transitional cell carcinoma is probably the most common bladder and urethral cancer that we see in dogs, and clinical signs include urinary obstruction, hematuria, and palachiuria. And these signs are usually very distressing to owners because every time they take their pet out for a walk, uh, they're straining to urinate, passing blood, and that kind of thing, and so owners are often very desperate to find a solution. Treatment options can be quite confusing because, frankly, nothing works that well. Uh, there's a saying, when all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail, and that's the surgeon's approach to everything. When we see something, we like to do surgery on it. But the fact is that surgery does not work very well for um, trans transitional cell carcinoma. And in fact, it's no better than medical management alone. So how do we treat transitional cell carcinoma in dogs? First thing that we do is pass a urinary catheter to try to resolve the urinary obstruction. Uh, and then at the same time as we have the urinary catheter in place, we start paroxicam at 0.3 milligrams per kilogram once a day. Um, and that by itself gives you a median survival time of about six months. If you have owners that are particularly mo uh, motivated, we'll add mitoxantrone at five milligrams per meter squared once every three weeks intravenously for a total of four cycles. And that extends the median survival time up to about nine to 11 months, depending on the study that you look at. Um, if you have patients that are refractory to medical management and you can't resolve the urinary obstruction, then we can uh, place a stent and that can be placed percutaneously or transurethrally in female dogs, but in male dogs often we have to do a little surgical uh, incision to pass, pass the stent in through the urinary bladder. So in summary, uh, the way that we treat transitional cell carcinoma in dogs is with medical management, usually with paroxicam at 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. And then if you have an owner that's really motivated, we can add mitoxantron at five milligrams per kilogram, uh, sorry, five milligrams per meter squared uh, once every three weeks intravenously uh, for a total of four cycles. If you have any questions about this, please send us an email at admin at vetdojo.com. Um, and uh, if you have an interest in learning about other diseases and types of surgeries, you can just go to www.vetdojo.com.